the word Dre's got the blues. What does that mean? Dre's got the blues. Oh, uh, all right. So Dre's got the blues. That originally was um, I was just you know being an artist, you know, like making music and whatnot. You know, you're looking to sell yourself. So I was looking for something catchy to kind of um go along with my image you know it's actually a play off of my actual name like my government name andre blue you know so i changed all my handles on social media you know wherever i'm, I'm followed at to dre's got the blues you know because it's a fun little play on um just my name really and i guess you know that's also a lot of what ties into my music it's just like you know, just feeling, you know, like like having the blues, that's a very specific feeling. That's not on beat though. The amp makes it sound like it's not. No, I do what I do is for my city. Yes. Alright. Cause look, no, say I the do what, what I do, do and it's for my city. Say the end part. Say just it. know I do what I do and it's for my city. It just sounds like end. It doesn't sound like end. Like, just know I do what I do and it's for my sake. That sounds nasty. So that's why I said, just say I do what I do and it's for my <laughs> Just know I do what I do and it's for my sake. That sounds good. That one sounded great. I like that one. Just know I do what I do and it's for my sake. Yeah, say it like that. Amen. Hallelujah. Alright. Let me hear how that. I'm going to play it back. Alright, cool, cool, cool. But it's rich yeah. with meaning. Mm. As you said yourself, the life of a musician is often misconstrued as a glorious one. Yeah. And it's really a, a painful one. Yeah, it can be. Tell me about that. I mean, you know, like, be, it's, it's weird. Most of the artists I've come in contact with have um, a, a lot, I guess you could say, just aren't all there, you know? or at least they're there in ways that others may not be. Um, you know, you can never really tell off face value the, the you know, the just emotional toils people are like dealing with on the inside, you know. Um, being someone like that's an avid like, you know, supporter for like, you know, awareness of like mental health, you know. Cause at least the community I come from, you know, they often tend to neglect it, um, you know. I feel like it's very real, you know, and that sort of message, that sort of um, just transparency is something I hope to get across in my music, you know, in the art, you know. So when I say Dre's got the blues, that's, you know, a very, almost a very specific, um, you know, analysis of, you know, how I, how I feel at times, you know, just being unsatisfied. You know, whether it's with art or with, you know, with with school, like your education or how you're doing or, you know, or just with life in general. Now, in the beginning we were talking about pain and suffering and blues. Mm -hmm. And in talking about this, producing this album, I'm excited, I'm enthused, I'm interested. Thank you. It's like you're surfing and the music is the wave. Yeah. So what's that about? <laughs> Where's the unhappiness? Um, you know, just just really being unsatisfied in life. You know, it's it's really hard to be you know sitting in the position I am. You know, as a student, you know, 21 years old, you know, getting ready to leave college. You know, and I'm watching like, you know, 16 year olds. You know, like with millions of hits on YouTube. You know, even like even winning Grammys at this point, you know, just so accomplished. It's it, I, I don't know. You know, some people are really some people don't want that much, you know, and that's OK. You know, that's OK. But like I'm somewhere I'm someone where it's like I can never really just stop where I'm at. You know, it's like I always need more than this, you know, kind of just to prove to people that there is more, you know. Because I feel like so many people like skip the step of having hope and just go straight to complacency. And, you know, it's like where I, where I come from, like there was no way I could have settled for that, you know, just with the family situation at home. Like there was no way I could have settled for that and really been happy, you know. So I'm, I'm at this point in life where it's like, I'm, you know, I'm working. I'm working really hard, I feel like, towards like everything I believe in.
and you know want to have not only for me but like for my family and, and team. Wavy. I can't be the same. I can't be the same. Yeah. I ain't smiling to force a conversation. Fuck the end and that homie pull up and say some. I saw them Grammys while recording in the basement. I use it. Oh, damn, I fucked up already. Great. <laughs> and yet, school goes gets in the way. School, school can definitely get in the way of that. I feel like, um, I feel like being a student, student artist or student musician, it's, it, it's tough because like one has to suffer, you know, one has to suffer, and that's not even like counting like you know your part-time job or your relationship or you know whatever factors there may be. You know, if you just like the more time you're spending on your art, the less time you're spending on schoolwork, and then vice versa. You know, like I personally am in a situation right now where it's my last semester and, you know, I have to I have a lot of work to do if I want to graduate in May, like a lot of work. It's 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 really it's really like fear provoking, you know, like because it's like you really feel like you're doing good with your art. and It's like, wow, it's getting so much better. And, you know, I can't wait till people see this. I can't wait till people hear this. It's, it's going to be something really big. And then you turn around and realize, like, wow, I haven't been giving attention to this other thing. And now it's like, damn, like, I'm kind of fucked. You know, I'm, I'm kind of I'm screwed, you know, because you're behind. Um, and that feeling, I don't know, I guess that feeling of be, being behind, it, it just really sucks, you know, just feeling inadequate and not prepared for things, you know. It's like vice versa, if I was in the library every night, you know, working hard on these essays and reading these books and all that, like, you know, I'd be depressed because I have no time to spend on my music, you know, and, that, and that's the thing I think, you know, makes me happier than like any degree could. You know, because that there's there's like real passion in that. You know, I have a passion for learning as well, not so much for that for like the conventional like education system, but but for learning. But I feel like you know, the way school is set up in society these days, it's not really to help you learn. Um, it's I don't know what it's set up for. It's for money, man. For money, you know, it's, they they test they test your memory, you know, not how much you know. So it, it's it's kind of trash, you know, and it sucks that you know something has to suffer. But it's like I don't know, it's about how bad you want it, you know. I guess you make time for it. I'm very transparent in the music, you know, like I'm not rapping about money I don't have, you know, or like, or women I've never slept with, like, you know, the way like a lot of, you know, pop culture is, you know, it's like really infested with lies, you know, and it's like, you know, I'm, I'm no one to judge, you know, power to you if that's what works for you, but, you know, like one of the things that matter to me at the core is just authenticity and being organic and being true to who you are. Is your music colorblind? Colorblind? No, I see, I see color everywhere. I think it's important that you celebrate differences, you know. But I think it, the music is transparent in the sense where 
you know, it doesn't matter what race you are, you know, they're very, like, interchangeable, like, situations, you know, that anyone can feel, you know, even if I'm speaking to a woman, I feel like these are things that, like, a woman could be saying to a man. What's up? On the one side, there's the sense that the life of the musician is glorious when it's not. And then I'm hearing that it's euphoric. And something tells me both are true. Can you explain that to me? Yeah, I mean, so as a musician, there's like a certain level of expectations that are placed on you, you know, to, to provide content, um, to provide content, to make that content exciting, and then to continue to provide newer and more modern, you know, and ever-changing content. And it's, and you know what I mean, like sometimes people, like fans, you know, I don't wanna say fans because I'm not huge, you know, so I'll say supporters, you know, supporters that they'll get so familiar with who they, with, with their, with their version of you, with the version of you that's inside their head, you know, that they won't even like, they'll be upset at you taking chances at growing. You know, like you might, you might work with a new producer, you know, because they have like, they have a more modern sound, or maybe you'll work with a certain instrumentalist because they're more indie, you know, and it's like, their stuff really is set apart from everyone else's, you know, and it's like, people can be so harsh like so harsh and so critical of like, of what essentially is your art. You know, like you, you literally like put yourself into this creation, you know, and oftentimes people just look at it as a, a song, a track, a stream. Like, nah, man, like, like there were like very intimate parts of me going into creating this. You know, just for you to hate it, not like it, or to trash it, like to go out of your way to tell me how bad it is. You know what I mean? Like people, like they often chain you to like former versions of yourself, you know, because that's who they were comfortable with. But like, you know, as an artist, I feel like you're always trying to grow. You're always trying to unlock new potentials within yourself, you know? And it's like when, when life gets hard, you know, um, depend on whatever it is, you know, like it could be, it could be those critics. It could be, you know, you had a debt, you know, like I personally come from like a underprivileged community. You know, I've seen a lot of people die, you know, in 21 years. I feel like that's something like a young person shouldn't really have to like go through. But like I did, you know, and it's like, what, you know, it's like, where do you turn? Who really has the words to comfort in that type of situation? You know, I just run to the music. You know, the music is what gives you that sense of euphoria, you know, and that's why I feel like it's so important that a song is creating a moment, you know, because it, it gives you somewhere to go to when what's in front of you just isn't enough. So what's next? What's next? Um, what's next? I'm really trying to, I'm really, trying to break into this music industry, you know, because I don't think I'll be satisfied until, like, I wake up and the only thing I have to do is write songs, you know, or perform shows, or, you know, like, do something in the studio. I don't, I don't know, you know, nothing brings me as much happiness as creating does. So what's next is, you know, I'm working really closely with my team of people, you know, some of which I've met in school, and we're really trying to develop a plan you know, marketing, branding, very specific plan as to how, what we're going to release, when we're going to release it, and how it's gonna, you know, usher us through the doors of that music industry. You know, everything's really calculated from now on, you know, because I feel like I didn't do enough in my four years. It's like, it's like now or never. Boy,